We're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and I'm very pleased to be joined by Fuatay Purcell who is head of the LSE division of the Project and Knowledge Management Department of BDT of the ITU. Fuatay, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. It's a pleasure. I'd like to start off by talking about uh, yesterday there was a, a meeting on the small island developing states and uh, what are the challenges uh, in your opinion currently faced by small island developing states and in particular the Pacific Island states? The uh, issues uh, facing the Pacific Island uh, concerns uh, their vulnerability to climate change. Uh, as we know, uh, some islands are sinking. But uh, to try and help the islands, uh, the key issue there is connectivity. Most of the connectivity are in the business district or the main islands. But uh, remote islands and rural communities uh, in some countries are not accessing information and communication technologies or ICTs to help them relay their current situation, to help them with the social and economic development, and also serve as emergency telecommunications uh, during disasters. ITU is involved in a new satellite project. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about this project. Yes, that project is really looking at uh, using the low-cost satellite uh, terminals so that uh, ITU can provide a dual benefit to these communities. So on the other hand, it will be served, um, it will be helping them for social and economic uh, development. For example, um, on the social side, um, people there Everybody, not just students, will have access to education information, so or e-education as it is well known, e-health. Um, and on the economic side, uh, now if they have or when they have these ac this access, they will be able to advertise their produce and whatever they have to the main islands because uh, a lot of those people would not need some uh, produce from the, uh, these remote islands and rural communities. Now, we have partners. We were, we're still doing resource mobilization because, as you know, um, there is quite a lot of remote islands in this region, in this sub-region of the Asia-Pacific. And so um, we need equipment, we need uh, money so that we can train uh, the people there because this is one um, issue is the lack of capacity on how to uh, operate and also maintain these uh, satellite terminals because it will be a, a whole new thing. So, and then on the other side, we also need to train the people on how to use the um, uh, Microsoft uh, applications or any other applications uh, that will be useful for them. Uh, we've talked a little bit about the, the challenges that you're facing regarding project implementation. Uh, how could this project be replicated in other countries as well, do you think? This is a pilot project that we're doing now. And the idea is we learned uh, the benefits, the uh, issues, the challenges, and then we can develop a better product so that we are able to uh, replicate it in, in other islands. And also, we'll also be looking at uh, resource mobilization because for this project, uh, ITU is uh, providing seed funding of 500,000 Swiss francs. So other partners are providing um, uh, in kind. Uh, for example, uh, so far we have Intelsat and also Enmasat. They're providing uh, free airtime. Um, for a period to allow the people to use um, the internet and then uh, they, they are also going to provide uh, some uh, uh, in-kind training. Uh, ITSO on the other hand are also providing cash so that we can uh, continue um, training uh, people in these islands on operating and also management of satellites. And we're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference uh, in, in Dubai. I wanted to ask you, what are your expectations uh, from this conference? My expectation is that uh, member states will continue, will approve the continuation of Resolution 30, 
which uh, asking uh, the, uh, the union to pay special attention to least developed countries, small island developing states, landlocked countries and countries in economies uh, in transition. And then uh, on the other hand, um, I'm looking for uh, some countries that are able to provide um, you know, some funding for this project and also uh, some private sector that are here. Uh, I expect some would uh, come up and uh, help ITU um, achieve this project so that we can learn uh, all the, uh, the best practices that comes out of it and then we develop a better product to replicate in other small island developing states in other regions. Well, I thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you. And thank you very much for watching.